Yeah, we've had a few um, disappointing afternoons. Uh, it's fifth game now, and uh, we're just hoping to come here and you know get a result. If we're honest, you know that, that's what we're looking to do: come to these places and get a result. And um, we knew it was going to be a tough game. You know, they come off the back of a good result last week. Uh, we wanted to control the game. We wanted to be able to create opportunities and chances, and we needed to stop you know leaking goals that cause us a problem. And we've done it again today. You know, from nothing really, we've conceded a goal from a from a throw-in, scrappy goal puts us on the back foot, it's 1-0 and then you're, you're chasing the game, you know, and um, we need to do more. Yeah, it was a massive game. I mean, respectfully, I'd like to, you know, send our condolences to Sol Bamba's family. I thought both sets of fans were brilliant, you know, respecting it. And I thought it was probably a fitting game for him to play in. It was sort of end-to-end -end and some really good defending and it was nice for us um, to come out on top. I thought the last 15, 20 minutes we were hanging, really, physically. Uh, and they were throwing everything on it at us and changed the team uh, with six subs. So we had a lot to address, but I thought maybe on chances we possibly edged it. So uh, not that I care if we did or didn't. I just <laughs> It's about trying to win football games, and we did, and the lads held out. And uh, with Jacob in goal, we looked uh, defensively really good. Football's about chances and scoring goals, and um, it can put you on the back foot when you, when you don't do that, you know. And, it, and on the, the flip side of that, if you score, we've had it a few times now, you know, we had it against Middlesbrough, hit the post second half after 50, 60 minutes, and that's 1 0. It's happened at Sunderland, it's happened, uh, it's happened here today, and we are correcting it. We are, we are making things better in respect of rest defence and making sure we're, we're, we're locking the box off and picking up second balls. But I still think we was off of picking up second balls today, first ball, second balls, and our aggression around the pitch. It's got to be a lot better, and our intensity to want to get close. You know, they worked really hard today, Derby, and you know, hard work sometimes you know pays off. Obviously, I had to take Mendes off. Um, he'd been international, so we knew he'd possibly fatigue. And David Ozo coming off injured, we had to change the way the midfield looked. And then with 15 minutes to go, I think it was roughly we went to a, a back five instead of a four, which didn't allow us to ever get out, but sort of limited Cardiff to just crosses from deep and we dealt with it really well so you know we've said to the lads all the time winning a game of football is hard work it is hard work you, you, you have to try and outwork the opposition and the front line were excellent today and yeah and I thought it epitomised um, um, how well we played our goal was a really well worked goal and I just thought our, our energy and desire to try and win a game of football was really good. Yeah, you know, he, he was suspended, so he was upstairs, which was frustrating for him. Um, disappointed like, like any manager, you know, if you're not getting the things that you want out of the game and the successes that you're looking for, uh, there's going to be obvious disappointment. And that's all around the dressing room. You know, no one's gone into the dressing room thinking, you know, oh, we've lost the game, we're going home. No, people will have to think about how the game's gone and we'll all have to reflect, start working again today uh, and working towards the next game.